hi everyone welcome back to our channel if you're new here feel at home if you're one of our returning subscribers i want to say thank you very much for your support and welcome back today we are tackling a topic that probably has crossed your mind more times than you can count ever feel like you're not just getting anything done maybe you've even labeled yourself as lazy bored or unmotivated but what if i told you that's not the case in this video we are going to explore why you're not actually lazy bored or unmotivated and what might really be going on instead so if you're ready to shift your mindset and get to the root of the issue make sure you hit that uh, like button subscribe if you haven't already and let's dive in let's begin with the myth of laziness we've all been there days where we just can't seem to get uh, off the couch or out of the bed but labeling yourself as lazy might be doing more harm than good what if i told you that laziness is often a surface level symptom of something deeper it's easy to blame yourself for not doing enough but the truth is our brains are wired to conserve energy if you're feeling lazy it might be your body's way of telling you that you are burnt out stressed or simply in need of rest instead of beating yourself up ask yourself what your body and mind are really trying to tell you the root cause of feeling unmotivated now let's talk about motivation or the lack of it feeling unmotivated isn't a character flaw it's a sign that something is off balance one common cause is burnout which can drain your energy and enthusiasm another is overwhelming being overwhelmed i mean when there is so much to do that you don't know where to start it's easy to shut down entirely additionally if you are not aligned with your goals if they are not personally meaningful staying motivated can feel like an uphill task understanding this root cause is the first step in addressing them the impact of stress and mental health stress and mental health play a massive role in how we perceive our motivation levels chronic stress can lead to physical and emotional exhaustion making it hard to find the energy for even basic tasks similarly anxiety and depression can sap your motivation leading to feelings of empath of apathy sorry and disinterest it's important to recognize when stress or mental health issues are at play rather than sim simply blaming yourself for not being productive enough taking care of your mental health should be your top priority the role of the environment and routine another factor to consider is your environment and your regular routine your surroundings can have a huge impact on your motivation if your space is cluttered disorganized or full of distractions it's no wonder you are struggling to get things done on the other hand a well structured routine can create a sense of stability and purpose making it easier to stay motivated sometimes a simple change in your environment or routine can make a world of difference the importance of passion and purpose have you ever noticed how much easier it is to work on something you're passionate about that's because passion and purpose are powerful motivators if you're feeling bored or unmotivated it might be a sign that you're not fully engaged with what you're doing maybe your goals aren't aligned with your true interests or you you are stuck in a routine that doesn't inspire you reconnecting with what genuinely excites you can reignite your motivation and drive reframe your self talk self talk plays a crucial role in how we view ourselves and our actions if you're constantly telling yourself you are lazy you're bored or unmotivated you are reinforcing that belief instead 
try reframing your self-talk. Instead of saying I'm lazy, try I'm feeling tired right now and I need to recharge. Instead of I'm bored, ask yourself, what can I do that would excite me at the moment? Shifting your internal dialogue from judgmental to curious can open up new possibilities and help you move forward. Small wins and celebrating progress. Yeah, this is a difficult, uh, a difficult one for many people. But one of the best ways to combat feelings of laziness and lack of motivation is to focus on small wins. Big goals can, be, can feel overwhelming, but breaking them down into smaller manageable steps can make them more approachable. Celebrate each small victory, no matter how minor it seems. These small wins build momentum and give you the confidence to keep going. Remember, progress is progress, no matter how small you think it is. So, as we conclude, what's the takeaway here? You are not lazy or unmotivated. You're simply human. We all have times when we feel stuck, but that doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. By understanding the underlying causes and make small changes, you can re regain your senses of motivation and purpose. Remember, it's okay to slow down sometimes. Yeah, Take recesses and take care of yourself along the way. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who might need to hear this, and subscribe for more content on personal growth and well-being. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye and God bless.